The video you're about to watch is in high definition, so it's recommended that you change the quality level to the original recording quality and watch it in full screen. This is a demonstration to show in StormCAD how you can uh, enter in the elevations for conduits and catch basins. So let's say that we have an example uh, system of catch, uh, two catch basins connected by a conduit or a pipe. The brown line represents uh, the ground elevation. Uh, let's say, just for instance, that the ground elevation at uh, the upstream catch basin is 101 feet and at the downstream catch basin the ground elevation is 100.5 feet. Uh, we may know the invert elevation of the catch basins, meaning that's the bottom of, uh, if you look inside the, the drain in the street, you look down, measure the elevation of what's the bottom of that. Uh, in this particular upstream catch basin, it looks like that the pipe invert, the bottom of the pipe, is the same diameter, I'm sorry, is at the same elevation as the catch basin. Whereas in the downstream situation, the uh, the pipe invert is above the catch basin invert. And I'll show you how um, we can make um, StormCAD handle that. The conduit diameter is going to be specified in this particular case and the crown elevation. So I just wanted to point out with this first drawing um, where these different elevations are. Uh, the crown elevation is going to be the top of the pipe, the top of the pipe opening, uh, rather than specifying the invert elevation, the way that StormCAD works is it, it speaks in terms of the crown elevation for the um, for the conduit. And so the invert elevation of the upstream end of the pipe would simply be the crown elevation minus the diameter of the conduit. And so in this particular case, the invert of the pipe is going to be at 96 feet because it's the 97 feet of the crown minus the one foot diameter. Uh, in the case of the downstream end of the pipe, if the crown elevation is at 96.5 feet, then the invert elevation will be at 95.5 feet. And then what we know is that this particular catch basin has an invert itself that is uh, even below that at an elevation of 94 feet. So let's go ahead and start up uh, StormCAD and take a look at what we're going to need to do to be able to model this. Um, first of all, of course, in StormCAD, what we're looking at is a top view. These diagrams were side views. So now here in the top view, we'll just uh, draw two catch basins connected by a conduit. And if I bring up the conduit table, uh, it's kind of interesting that in, in my case, it's not even showing the diameter of the conduit as one of the editable options to begin with. It's not among the default columns that are there. So I'm going to have to edit which columns I can see, scroll down, find the diameter. We would like to be able to modify the diameter, so I've added that. Rather than have it here far right, maybe I'll click that and uh, move it closer to where I'm going to be in a position to edit it. So I'll click and drag to move it over. Click and drag. All right, there we go. That's a nice, uh, good enough right there. Um, another thing I want to do is go to the catch basin table and um, let's type in some of the data that we've already know. Um, the upstream ground elevation was 101 feet. That's maybe just for accounting purposes with this particular model. Uh, we don't actually have to tell it the ground elevation. It wouldn't be using it for any of the uh, hydraulic calculations it's going to be doing. We'll put it in anyway though. 100.5 was the ground elevation of the downstream one. Elevation of the invert, and that's talking about the invert of the catch basin, was 96 for the upstream catch basin and the downstream catch basin had an invert elevation of 94 feet. All right. So now that we've put in that invert elevation, what it automatically assumes is it sets the conduit elevations equal to, it, it assumes that it matches up. So here where it does match up, that's a good thing. That's fine. It assumes that the, uh, the invert of the pipe and the invert of the catch basin are equal. And just to show you how it's 
demonstrating that. It's saying that the crown elevation at the start is... Um, so what we know from the drawing is that the crown elevation is 97 feet upstream and uh, that matches what it is uh, assuming for the pipe. We're looking here in the conduit table. Now the, the ending part, it thinks that the elevation of the stop end of the conduit, the downstream end, is 95 feet. Reason why is it's just assuming that it matches up with that uh, catch basin elevation. Um, <clears throat> and so since the pipe is one foot in diameter, if the catch basin's at 94, it's assuming that the pipe matches into that and so the crown is at 95. But in our case, what we know is that the crown is actually at 96.5 and so we have to somehow override the way that it's handling that. And the way to do it is go in and edit, which you can see, um, and we're going to have the option, we want to be able to tell it whether or not to set the invert to the downstream and upstream um, catch basins. And so now with this, we can override the downstream and so it'll give us the option to say where the invert elevation downstream is. And from our drawing, uh, that pipe invert should be at 95.5 because the crown is given to be 96.5 so the invert will be at 95.5 and so once I've clicked that off then it opens this up it turns it from yellow to white which means now I can edit that and so the downstream invert elevation should be 95.5 alright and then what it will do is um, It'll update the slope of the pipe based on that. So essentially, what I wanted to point out in this demonstration is just um, the different terminology that uh, Stormcat is using as far as inverts and crowns, how it can sometimes uh, require if you have a, a conduit that enters a catch basin not at the invert matching up, then you have to override that by uh, triggering the uh, set invert to downstream, turning it off, and then it will make that editable.